Tonight we're taking the sleeper train between Prague in Czechia and Krakow in Poland. If you'd like to see part one of this journey, just click above. Prague's main station is certainly a mix of architectural delights. Both the original Art Nouveau and a bit of 1970s low ceiling oppression mixed in as well. It's funny to see them sitting so close together. Our train pulled into the station at about 9.45, so with a 10.15 departure we had a good half hour to find the platform, get on board and get settled before the journey. Now my sleeper carriage was right at the front of the train, just behind the locomotive. And with hindsight, I would have probably tried to get something a little bit further back, further away from that train horn which did its best to keep us awake all night. I was shown to my cabin for the night and also given a little bit of a tour of the carriage and how things worked. The conductor will also keep your ticket and he'll give you a shout in plenty of time in the morning before you arrive at your destination. Yeah. 31. Oh perfect. Thank you very much. I will come later to you, okay? Okay. Okay. So here we go. I've put the camera on wide lens because obviously this is quite a small space. But this is my cabin. Um really happy with it actually. If we just go over to the window here, uh, lift this one and then we can open this which is, that's a real bonus for me. I didn't think I'd be able to open the window. There is some air con, obviously I don't know how good it's going to be. Um, but you control that just up here, so you can put heat or cold, obviously cold tonight, volume. This is your main light. You've got a night light as well, so if I just put that on, there's that one there. When the main light's off, that'll be pretty cool. I've got my bed here. There seems to be, oh, that must be seats underneath, but there's plenty of room for storage. And we have power, which is another godsend. That's my key. And the man said, make sure that I double lock the door. And just on here, if we open this up, hello, we have got some kind of, oh, slippers, toothbrush, toothpaste, towels, we've got tap there, on and off, uh, oh, they're giving us some water as well, that's awesome, and then right up top, we've got bags of storage space there, so this, all in all, is a pretty cool cabin. There we go, I've changed my bed direction around. So I've got my pillow right at the window now. Oh, and we are underway. We are moving. Bye, Prague. Sure, the amenity kit was basic, but it was still appreciated because I wasn't expecting anything at all. And the slippers were handy if you needed to walk along to the bathroom. Let's take a little walk along this corridor. It's not as narrow as it probably looks on film. And we've got the bathroom just at the end here. So I think we said you just put that in there. So there's a separate shower stall there. And a sink. And a toilet just in behind the door. That's a pretty nice bathroom actually. That's the bathroom. There we go. Cheers guys, it's been an awesome day in Prague and looking forward to my flight back from Krakow tomorrow. I'm not going to see Krakow, we're getting about 6.20, we're going straight to the airport and then it's back to Edinburgh. If like me you like to travel with the blind open all night, just bear in mind that we do still stop at stations along the way. I'm tired now, so time for me to go to sleep. I'll see you in Poland. Good night.
good morning from not the most comfortable bed in the world. Really didn't sleep long enough. Got up, got ready, because we're going into Krakow, and Krakow's just a stop on the way to Slovakia, so I had to be careful not to miss my stop. But then I just spoke to the conductor, and we're pretty much running an hour late. So I could have had another hour's sleep, which is quite annoying. It actually wasn't so bad to get up early, as this gave me a chance to watch the sun come up over Poland as we trundled slowly through the villages and the countryside. It also gave me plenty of time to make sure I had all my kit packed away, as you wouldn't believe the mess I can make in even such a short time. To be honest, I didn't really have the best sleep on this train, but it didn't matter for me because I was heading straight home afterwards. But if you are going to be travelling quite a bit around Europe on these trains, I would recommend investing in a good set of earplugs and having the discipline to maximise your sleep time on board. I'd bring my own pillow the next time as well because the one they provide is a bit of a tea bag. Look at this, I've just had a delivery. So there's my tickets, cutlery, what have we got here? Oh this is awesome. We've got juice, stuff, nice stuff. This is not so easy with one hand. Hot rolls, yay! We eventually crawled into Krakow only about 45 minutes late and this still gave me plenty of time to get out to the airport so it wasn't a problem. It's funny though how slow this train goes. I was following the journey on my map on my phone and it was almost like we were doing laps of Krakow before we finally pulled into the main station. For 70 quid though and for a solo cabin at that this was an absolute bargain and I'd do it again in a minute. Thank you very much, thank you for everything. Dzień dobry ze Krakowa. Chodźmy na lotnisko. Dzień dobry. Idę na lotnisko. Do lotniska? Mam tylko karty, jest ok. Dziękuję bardzo. And that was me on the airport train before a flight back to Edinburgh, a mere 24 hours after I'd left. I hope you enjoyed the journey and if you have any questions be sure to ask in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and see you real soon. Bye for now.